Question 17 asks you to find the missing value of x, which happens to be a side length. And notice we only have one of the side lengths, so therefore we can't do Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to have to use the SOHCAHTOA. And you always start with the angle of the measure that they gave you. So we start here, and then you look from there. Um, this would be our opposite angle. And the other piece of information given is our hypotenuse because hypotenuse because it's across from our right angle. So I'm gonna go look in, um, at my rules down here and find the one that has an O and an H. So I see that the so right here. So I know that I'm going to be using um, sine. So I take the sine of the angle measure that it gave us. So I can say that the sine of 27 equals, and I'm going to have O over H because I've determined that I have um, so. So O is an X and H is 16. And if I put this over 1, now I have a proportion that I can solve for. So I'm going to put in my calculator sine of 27 and make sure I close the parentheses. So sine 27 times 16, and I get an answer of 7.2. Two, six, three, eight, four, and I really don't need to know any more because the um, directions asked me to solve to the nearest hundredth, and that's the second um, place right here. So I look at the third number to see whether to keep that the same or raise it, and uh, because it's a three, I'm going to keep it the same. So in this case, x is equal to seven point two six. Okay, so let's start at the given angle measure, which is here, and we have a given hypotenuse, and we have an opposite again. So I know I have an O and an H. Oh, I don't have my rules. Let me put them down for you. So I look for the one that has an O and an H in it. Um, so I notice that I have an A and an H, an O and an A. So of course, I'm going to be using the so again. So what that is, is the sine of the angle measure given. So sine of 75, because that's the angle measure right here, equals O over H. I'm doing this formula right here, O over H. So our O in this case is 15, and our X is unknown, our heart hypotenuse. So we're going to put that over 1, and now we can cross multiply. So now when we cross, apply, cross multiply 1 times 15, we have 15 is equal to the sine of 75 times X. So if we're getting X by itself, we're going to um, divide by the sine of 75. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So what I'm putting in my calculator is 15 divided by the sine of 75. And remember that the sine, cosine, and tan buttons are located above buttons 7, 8, and 9, right above the comma and the parentheses buttons. So whenever I did 15 divided by sine of 75, I got an answer of 15.529. So I look at this number to tell me what to do with the 2. And because it's 5 or higher, my answer is going to be 15.53. OK, so here's my, whoa, that's not a pen. OK. Here's my angle measure right here. So I know that this one's directly across from the um, right angle. So x has to be my hypotenuse. And the other um, bit of information it gave us was um, the 17 down at the bottom here. And this is next to the 53. So now I have adjacent. So coming up and looking at my rules, I need to find the one with an a and an h in it. So notice that Sokotoa has an O and an H, so that's not the one I want to use. Toa has an O and an A, so that's not the one I want to use. But notice that cosine has an A and an H, and that's what I'm given. So I can say that the cosine of the angle measure given, so cosine of 53 equals A over H. So my A is 17, 
and my H, my hypotenuse, was uh, my unknown, so that's an X. So put this over 1 so I can cross multiply. So 1 times 17 is 17. And then I'm going to say the cosine of 53 times X, because I cross multiply these two terms. <clears throat> and now I need to get X by itself. So I need to divide by the cosine of 53. And what I would have, when I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So in my calculator, I'm going to say 17 divided by, hit the COS, cosine button, um, 53 in parentheses, and hit enter, and it gives me 28.247. So I look at the 7 to tell me that that should be raised to a 5. So my answer would be 28.25. All right, so from the angle measure that it gave us a number 20, um, it's right here. And notice that I have a hypotenuse and this guy who's right next to the 39, therefore I have an adjacent angle. So I'm looking for the things that make A and H. So looking at my formula, I know that I'm going to be using my cosine formula. So I'm going to say that the cosine of my angle measure of 39 is equal to A over H. So A is over here and that's X over h, which is 16, that's my hypotenuse, and put this over 1 so I can cross multiply. So what that's going to be is x is equal to, and then I'm going to say, the co I'm going to put the cosine button into my calculator, and it starts the parentheses for me, so 39 in parentheses times 16, and x is going to equal 12.434. And when I round that, I know I'm going to keep the 3 the same, so rounded to the nearest hundredth would be 12.43. Alright, so number 21 gave me an angle measure here of 41 degrees, and I have a, a hypotenuse, which would be X, and this one is right next to the 41, so 17 is going to be my adjacent angle. So I'm looking for the things with an A and an H, and that brings me to cosine. So I'm going to plug that into my formula. So the cosine of 41 is equal to A over H. A is right here. It's the 17 over my H, which is X. And put that over 1 and then cross multiply. So 17 times 1, 17. And then I'm going to say the cosine of 41 times x. So I don't have x by itself, so I'm going to have to divide both sides by the cosine of 41. Oops. And I put that in my calculator, 17 divided by cosine of 41 in parentheses and hit enter, and it gives me 2225 this 5 tells me to round that up to a 3, so um, my missing x would be 22.53. Okay, so starting with the angle measure that it gave me right here, notice that I have um, this directly across from it, so 19 is my opposite angle, and this guy x is right next to my angle measure, so that would be an adjacent angle. So now I need to find the right formula down here between Sokotoa I mean, so, ka, or toa, to find out which one to use. So I've got an O and an A, so it looks like I'm going to be using the tangent. So I need to set that up and say tan of the angle measure given, which was 65, is equal to O over A. So my opposite angle right here was 19 over A, which I'm solving for, is X. Put this over 1 and cross multiply. So 1 times 19 is 19. And then I'm going to have tan of 65 times x, because I cross-multiplied there, <clears throat> and I don't have x by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by the tan of 65. And I put this in my calculator. So I say 19 divided by, and then I'm going to hit the tangent button, T-A-N, and parentheses, 65, close parentheses, and it gives me 8.8. 8, 5, 9, and I know that the 9 tells me to raise this to a 6, so x is going to equal 8.86.